Hello, Monsters of Vanity, and welcome back to Total War 2 Mortal Empires and part 2 of my Altharian campaign as the Wardens of Tori of Rassi, where we're facing off against a very large force. These are the Greenskin faction starting off one, and we've managed to push them back to their last settlement, but this army they fit us with is, uh, is, is fairly large. It's a big boy army. But so we're going to try and lure some of them away using our Larian Reaver archers. We've got a couple of units here sort of chasing after us, which is kind of what we want, really. And uh, I'm hoping to use these Larian Reaver archers over here. So this is part of the garrison. Fairly beaten up. But what we can try and do is maybe try and lure these river trolls. The river trolls are quite nasty. I do not want them crashing into my line. While they shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. Um, considering that we're all anti-large, they'll probably do more damage than I would like. So, if we can lure them away from the... Um, or rather, lure them in front of our archers. So we're just going to get their attention with a couple of shots to the face. So they go lumbering, lumbering after us. And hopefully into range of our archers. Meanwhile, the Alarian Reaver archers are giving the Orc Sticker Boys the slip. And then hopefully coming back to assist against the main force. The river trolls are indeed moving directly into our archer line. And there we go. Lots of missile fire now coming in. I mean, they don't have much armor. They will regenerate a lot of that fire. And they've been cast... I mean, sneaky stabbing on them isn't really going to help, to be honest. And yet lots of missile fire now coming in. Archers getting the range... Yes, yeah, some of the some of the trolls now are starting to go down. They're starting to run. This is perfect. And they're broken. Now, if we can hunt them down. The Illyrian Reaver archers are no match for the trolls, but if they've got a unit chasing after them, they'll never rally. So we're going to send the Alarian Reaver archers after them to hunt down the river trolls and basically chase them off the battlefield or wipe them out. Either way, don't care. And now our archers find the range against the incoming infantry. So far, so good. Our right flank is a little bit on the weak side. We've got the garrison units there holding the line. Cavill is going to try and tie up some units in the centre there, while Lorna then tries to get around the flank. We've spotted the nasty skulkers, though, coming in. We need to get further back. Further back, and yet yeah, those the river trolls that are being hunted down by those Larian River archers, they can't rally while a unit is close to them. At least I think that's how it works. Basically, if you're being chased, you can't rally. If a unit's close enough, then you'd be like, nope. Nope, not going to do it. Ah, little flaming vortex there from Lorna, thanks to the magical item we picked up. Very, very potent magical item. In fact, 60 kills for the uh oh, and a nice little Amber Spear, which carves through that walk sticker boys, kills a lot of them. The Spire Guard holding the line there. Our right flank, though, looking a little bit dicey as the Spearmen are slowly being overwhelmed by sheer weight of numbers from the Goblins. We've managed to break most of the front line, and I'm now going... I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm allowing these guys to get overwhelmed because I'm not too worried about them. Um, once they do get overwhelmed, we'll swing this Spearman round to engage, and then swing the Archers round to help, but... I'm more concerned about this main blob here. Basically, this flank is, is probably fine. With the River Trolls dead, the Alarian River Archers can now move to pick off even more units. And I'm trying to cast another Amber Spear here, but it just doesn't want to cast, unfortunately. Uh, it's, uh, it's struggling. Won't go off. Won't go off in our hands. Nope. Nope. But the Nazi Skulkers break anyway, just as the war pops. And the wild popping does mean that this flank is now going to disintegrate. So Spears turning to engage. We do have Orc Sticker Boys moving in to engage. Throwing themselves at the front line. But they're not really going to be much... Well, I mean, once the wild dissipates... There we go, the wild dissipated. They're now not really going to do too much damage. The one are getting blasted by the enemy Shaman. Larry Archers moving in to throw themselves the Orc Arrow Boys. Orc Arrow Boys are a fairly nasty melee unit, so we don't really want to stick in combat there because that would probably end up badly for us. So we're going to pull out of that, basically just to distract them. 
try and take out these nasty skulkers. Lorna should be fine against the Orc Sticker Boys. Cavill is tanking the entire unit of Orc Sticker Boys by himself. Our rant right flank is in a little bit of trouble here, but the Spearmen are holding the line, and that's all that really matters. We now have archers targeting the nasty skulkers. They're the real problem. Take out the nasty skulkers, and uh, that, that flank should be fine. Yeah, those nasty skulkers being squished between two units of Valerian Reaver archers and broken once again. And this time, they're going to get wiped out. I mean, Lorna, she may be a lady, but uh, she knows how to kick some ass. I mean, she's she's killed how many now? 91. Yeah, that's not bad. Valerian Reaver archers moving in to render some assistance. There we go. Nicely done. Looks like the enemy army is close to routing. While the garrison got mulched, that was fine because it's a garrison. It's like a used. It's like a. It's like a rental. You don't have to worry about it. You can you can rag the hell out of it. It doesn't matter. And we now we have the upper hand in terms of numbers, which is absolutely fine. That means this battle is in the bag. You can see Cavill there up to 65 kills, just literally wailing away at the enemies. Nice and easy. The enemy shaman is trying to get away, but we will lock him. Oh, we're going we're gonna to bop him on the back of the head, cuff him in those fluffy handcuffs, and he's going to go away for a long, long time. Or maybe a short time. It depends. Oh, Lorna. What a gal. They can serve the tower. They can indeed. And we caught the general. Shifty gut stabber. Locked up. Oh, he's buggered up. Good, good. Go, go away. Shoot. I've got stuff to be doing over here. And I don't need you hanging around, making the place look untidy with your mortars that look terrifying. Good. Right, well. Hi, Elvin Archmage. Let's uh, skedaddle down here. They cannot withstand high magic. No, they it's can't. Lesser beings deserve. Well, that, that's a bit that's a bit racist, but never mind. Okay, if we come down here. Yep, still replenishing. Excellent. Could potentially get some guys, but uh, I don't think we need it. Now, I'm just going to execute you, I think. Another threat removed. Indeed. Oh, this is going well. This is going this is going well so far. Count Noctilus, Count Noctilus is over there. It'd be nice if we could we grab him, maybe. But uh, he's not We've, we've got other jobs to do, haven't we? So, let's get... I do... Well, you know what? Let's get Root Marcher now. And also, let us get... Uh, I do quite like Whistling's Wild Form. Hi, Elvin Archmage. And Cavill. Now, I'm tempted to give you some spells, but... I think just making you tank things with your face is way, way better. So, you've almost dealt with these orcs. Look at that. Ah, you're fine. You're doing really well. We've retaken stuff from the orcs. We're doing we're doing good. We just need to try retake the shrine the of Loic. And they do have a fairly beefy garrison there, Magic's so unleashed. maybe getting some Lothurn Sea Guard, not the worst option. Just to be on the safe side, you know. Worth it, I think. Prince Eltharion. Yes, yes, yes indeed. So let's give you. Uh, let's give you... Oh, I would like more money. Do I want to do that? Hmm. I think, you know, bows are what's going to do most of our damage. So let's do that. The I think with that with force, us. we can easily take retake the Shrine of Loek. And at that point, you know, we're actually looking pretty good. We've secured our province. Yavresi will be under our control once more. And we can potentially start looking at uh, pushing Prince it. I mean, at the, at the moment, Duty I'm a purpose. little bit dubious because I don't know what's out here. And because um, I don't have the money to reinforce that. Speak quickly. Oh. For I must not be distracted from my Looks family. like uh what's his face? Oh not a grudge pact. Uh yeah. yeah okay. Looks like yeah, Count Noxilus is trespassing on our territory. 
That's not good. And looks like Grimgore has confederated with a scabby eye. That's also not particularly good. Don't want Grimgore becoming a big, big hardy boy. So we've got some good influence there. Hmm. Don't like that, but I, am their end. I dislike this more. So, can we just order? No. Assyrian, take them. It would kill all of our spear boys. I don't particularly want to do that. So, let's go with Blade Master. They are. Let's do that, and then let us take out. The, who are these guys again? Fury of the wind. Skullcrag. Strike Wasn't even paying them. attention. It's Skullcrag. We're going to kill Skullcrag. Greenskin's last holdout on Ulf 1. Wipe this out. And the danger, at least for now, is over. of missile fire coming in, harassing those goblin wolf riders. They were chasing after the Alarian Reaver archers, which is exactly what we wanted, because if they're chasing after the archers, then they're just basically going to run through all the, yeah, all the archer fire and get total. The other nice thing is that they think Lothar and Seaguard are archer units, and as such, they will desperately charge into them, thinking that they can take them, and they can't. They, they will slam into that line and then instantly disintegrate. So that's fine. That's fun. Like that. Enjoy it a lot. The goblins moving into range gets yep, annihilated. The orcs are shielded. They don't have much in the way of armor. And the flock of doom just weakening the units overall. Won't get many kills, but uh, each unit will take a little bit of damage. And Cavill is now coming in to engage the Orc Biggins. This is the main threat, their little Amber Spear. And we want Cavill to actually try and engage both of these units. So we want to try and get both of them at the same time, which is why we're moving over here. Because then we can get them when they're trying to cross over. And there we go. Now they're all focused on trying to kill him, which is very optimal. Because as soon as they're all clustered round, we can flame the fucking lot of the bastards. Flame on. Ooh, nasty. Yeah, that was that was pretty that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, 108 kills there for Lorna. Not bad at all. Some units trying to flank around us. Not major problem. We can redraw our line to meet them. And the Laren Reef archers engaging these units of Goblin Wolf Riders. But a unit of Goblin Wolf Riders actually come back to fight and will trap them into combat. This is a problem. I mean, if it was just the Goblin Wolf Riders, not, a, not an issue. But these Orc boys are also moving up to engage. So we really need to get out of that. And to do that, we're just going to have to try and pull through that unit, which means we're going to take some damage, which isn't really ideal. But out here alone, they won't survive against those Orc boys. Spears now moving to flank the Orc boys. Got them. Cavill is up to 12 kills, all big ones. And he's now smashed into the back of these uh, yep, Orc boys. He's an absolute beast. He doesn't even ne really need his, his potion of toughness. He can just murder them. The enemy army is in disarray. They don't really know what to do about it. I mean, they, all they can do really is run back into range of our archers. And uh, that stings. Another little flock of doom coming in there. I mean, Lorna is up to... How many kills now? 129? It's not bad. She's done a lot of damage. And Cavill up to 29 kills. Make that, 30, make that 36. Make that 37. And the enemy army is fleeing. And of course, we can uh, we can entrap this forest goblin war boss and lock him away with the old fluffy handcuffs. Well, that's cleaned up the horrible orcses on our island. A bulwark in Ulthwan's war. And we have another another Dubri what oh, I guess because the faction's dead, he just instantly is executed. Hi, Elvin Archmage. Okay, well we do have Count our Count Noctis isn't at war with us, which is good. Uh, we can knock down that because we don't need it, which is fine. 
Do we? Do, do we? Do we just sneak, Onward, I say. sneak over here? I mean, there doesn't seem to be any savage orcs heading. Do you know, they, they said that we'd be under attack, but the warden. I'm not seeing it. So we can upgrade them to white lines of trace at six and silver and guard at rank three. But we must be close to a city to upgrade, which we're not. We are ill at ease. Yeah, well, okay. You know what? I'm not going to upgrade that yet because I'm not. I'm not 100. I'm not 100 percent sure it's. I'm. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's keep that there and knock that down there. Because then we can build better things, right? So, let us get tax rate, more growth. That's what we want. That's, I mean, it would be nice if we could capture Count Noctilus. He's meandering around our territory. I don't know where he's off to, but I wonder if we can, like, head him off at the pass. Can we? Because we can do this. Weaver of spells. And then can we do that? You know, in th we could. He'll probably run away, though. Set sail. So if we... Get, I, I think he's heading in this direction. He seems to be heading in this direction. So if we stand there, maybe he'll continue to march or to meander along and then we can jump him. Because we don't have defences here at the moment, so I don't want to... Um, let's get growth. Uh, don't want to send him running off in, in a position where he could potentially start sacking stuff. That would be... That would be bad. Is there anyone home? Hello? Heed Althuan's call. There is someone home. My life for Tor Ivris. There is someone home, in which case we're just going to leave that. And we're going to just... Just start building up our infrastructure. See what does, is he just stood there? I can't notice he's just stood there. He doesn't he hasn't moved. He's just standing in our territory, not doing anything. He might be oh he's recruiting, that's what he's doing. The cult of excess is growing. To full control of the shrine. Oh yeah, so they they do have Okay. They're using their prestige to brand Lothan and Avalon as traitors. Oh dear. Uh, well, that's Students problematic. They okay. Die. That's it. You run away, but you can't run far enough. That's it. You run over there. Towards power. Right. Now, let's attack you, and we'll attack you properly because we definitely need to put you in our sex. I mean, dungeon. It just—it's just a normal. Du the the velvet and the fluffy handcuffs—they're just because we don't have anything more. Too big a lumbering boy. I mean, this army is very small, to be honest. It's it's uh, it's tiny. They're in Reaver archers now charging. This. I mean, we should be able to take these guys out no problem. And we're taking a little bit of fire there as we advance. It's nasty. And uh, Cavill and Lorna are moving in to give the bloated corpses a hug. Taking a few arrows there, but uh, they take quite a lot of missile fire to actually bring down, despite the fact they have no armor. And there's a spotted cavil, and like nerds at a convention, they really want to give him a big old hug. And uh, yep, yeah, like nerds at a convention, they will explode into big old pus. Ooh, gross. Anyway, we've also got some gunnery mob moving up the hills, not doing so well uh, against the massed archer fire. And there comes Count Noctus himself. Who I'm going to lock up in my sex, I mean dungeon. He's not he's not really gonna get very far, to be honest. He's it's just him. The gunnery mob have Yeah, they're, they're crumbling. He's taking a lot of missile fire, and uh, we're about to lock him. There we go. And uh, yeah, now he's uh Yeah, he's, he's headed for the dungeon. And he's in our prison. There we go. Oh, we've got the Ring of Corrin. Holy shit. An archmage is accustomed to victory. Lorna, you're picking up some good stuff. Wow. I mean, I'm going to give that to... Wow. 
hundred. That's that's going to um to old old Christian Grey himself, I think. It has to. It's, it's really good. It's really really good. <laughs> it's up some amazing magic items early on. Uh, that's they're they're really good. Uh, excellent. Right, so we've got we got you in here. Uh, now, what I want to do is this. I want the interrogation chamber. I can't get that. I need... More upgrades? Oh, I need to execute prisoners. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Student of Teclis. Okay. That's what we need to do. Fine. Fine. Let's go inspiring presence. Scholar Supreme. And Cavill, I'm gonna go with... I would like you to be a little bit speedier. So you know what? Speed of Asuria, more speed, and also more melee defense, which I think is, is uh, always very useful. The people arrested. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Are they, though? I mean, minus three is fine. We just need more growth, that's all we need. A little bit of extra growth. Let's go for... Trumpeters? I do like a good trumpet. Let's do that. Prince Eltharion. You're recruiting the stuff. Ibres, which I'm not Althuan expects. Super Heed happy Althuan's about. Call. Okay. We've got some cash here, so I'm actually just gonna Exercise discretion. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna hide you there for the moment. Because I want to build this up, and if I'm spending money on that army, I'm not spending money building this up. Father. If not, leave. You want a non-aggression pact? I'll take that. Also, we really do need to take um, the Shrine of Asurian. Because uh, that, sh that Cult of Excess is, is starting to cause issues. It's starting to break her to come. Where? Over there. Okay, good, because that's <laughs> it's not a major problem for me just yet. I will hear your words, but I make no promises. The access. Thank you. Master Mage. Right, let's go and see what's going on over here and see if we can't do something about it. You're we all fairly... I was going to say fairly happy, but no, you're ill at ease. But that's okay. That's okay. We're just going to... Just going to chill there for a minute. How do I get more of these? Uh, Greenskin settlements destroyed, executed prisoners, completed objectives, miss more candidates. Okay. You must restore order. I'll I'll get right on it, trust me. Trust me. I could I could send you a what but I, I I remember that having a vampire in your in your sex dummy I mean, dungeon. And, in, and interrogating them was, like, really useful. I can't remember why, but I get the feeling it's that it's really, really useful. Did they? I think it's all right. Just chill out, mate. Calm down. You're all right. Uh, what's happened to Ilariel? Is she all right? Is she all right? Let's get in tribe my grating. Okay. All right. What's going on over here? Let's have a look. Tyrant of Nagarot. Right. I'm leaving. Bye. You know, I had a look. Um, Lord of Fear. Dread Lord of Nagarot. We've had a look and we've assessed, and I think I've come to the decision that it's just it's just not I just don't really want to, to be honest. It's not not my place to not my place to, you know, get involved in that kind of shit. That might be a problem. I am denied. That is forbidden. Uh, goods. Master of magic. Goods. Can't be done. Don't be a fool. We may Trained not by the have White that Tower. settlement for much longer. True magic. We can get some sentinels, skyhawks. They are. Well, they've got penetrating projectiles, have they now? Have they now? Um... 
A regiment of mist walkers has been recruited. Uh -huh. A great boon to your forces. Indeed. This advanced class of warriors have better equipment and training than regular troops. Okay. Which can be further in. Good, thank you. Obey the vow. Should we just go and start? Assume standard formation. I'm tempted to just kind of, you know, go to, just. I should, should we just? Redemption. I'm just going to do this. Do not be seen. Okay, so maybe attacking no, Noxlus was ball. not necessarily the 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 best plan. In hindsight, Pure magic. you know, but hindsight is. 2020. Why are you here, skeleton? Uh, defensive alliance, no. No, you're doing okay for yourself, which is nice, good to see. But I don't want to get pulled into any any shenanigans. Trade agreement, yes, please. Can always do with the monies. Okay, maybe we can like like do an ambush here. That might be a good idea. The trumpeters. Magic good. in purest form. Okay. I know my destination. That is forbidden. Got a lot of those mad bomber guys, Limitless haven't you? Talent. Okay, let's do the ambush. Let's see if we can lure them in. Uh, you are probably the best off, but no, actually, we're going to upgrade you. Let's upgrade you. Let's do that. Uh, turkeys are better. Lothan Sea Guard are better. Lothan Sea Guard are good. Do you have it's just a lot of stuff? I can't. I can't really break through there. Who are you at war with? So you are at war with Kemri. You know what I might do? I might just wait here and see if you bugger off. And if you do bugger off, I'll go and take Galbraz and be like, hey, it's mine now. Suck a dick, greenskin. Because then I'll have like a little base of operations here, which is fine, I guess. Is this okay? I, I'm sure it's fine. What rights can we do? The invocation of Vol would give us a powerful magical item. Hmm, I do like powerful magical items. I'm going to do it just for the powerful magical item. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Nice. Right, Reva Bow. Yeah, fine. Draw more ma- Oh, that's quite nice. Crown of Authoritar. Or oh, Amulet of Farsight. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to Jewel of Dusk. That winds of... Uh, I bring Azurian's fire. Because, oh, it's not even a magic item. Is it arcane? Yes, so you can have that. That gives us more winds of magic, um, which is, you know, all good. Tell you what, you can have the talisman of protect, because to be honest, you need it. The most gifted. I trust that you too are pledged to safeguard the waste. Valen! Military access. Ah, uh, yes. You are currently trying to kill Alariel, but, uh,. It's probably fine. Oh. Well, we didn't get the ambush, and that is a lot of orcs. Yep, that's... That's a lot of orcs. That's a lot of orcs. But, maybe... It's fine? It's gonna be a tough fight. There's a lot of lot of orkies here. A lot of orkies. We sent Alfara in to tank a huge blob of them so that our a magical turkey bird can incinerate a large section of them. Yep, they're even they're even still just moving into the good. Okay, well Alfarian's doing okay there. Um, the Orc war boss is is gonna struggle against him, I think. Meanwhile, the Katos. Took out some Savage or Cara boys and are now heading back to rejoin the main army. Took a bit of damage there, but uh, they should be fine. I'm a little bit worried about our rangers on our left flank. Flying these Savage Orcs who are quite scary infantry. But while it does say they're losing, they are holding their own. 
nice little blast there from Eltharian, getting his yeah, white sticky stuff all over those orcs. He has this little bolt ability that does AoEs around him, which is quite effective. Uh, we're moving in. The Athel Tamara Faithbearers engaging the Savage Orcs on the flank. Trying to bring them down, help out the Rangers. Seems to be going okay so far. We've locked up the Orc War Boss because, yes, we want him for our sector. I mean, dungeon. We want him for our dungeon. And down he goes without his head. That's going to be... I mean, I, I guess we don't need the fluffy handcuffs and that if his head's come off. I mean, fluffy handcuffs optional, I guess. The Kato's slamming into the back of those Savage Orcs and tearing through them very rapidly. A lot of damage there, and they're already fighting the Spearmen on the front as well, which means you can see leadership is now dropping. They're not very happy about being hit in the rear like that by angry felines. Let's get them out of the fight, and then we'll do another charge. Up to 30 kills already, right in the back, very nice. And obviously without their general, they're all... I mean, you know, the fact that we can lock them and debuff the shit out of them, uh, the general that is, it, it does mean that killing off the enemy general is actually a lot easier for Eltharian, which makes life, you know, it's, it's much easier to break the enemy army if their general's dead. Kato's chewing through the Savage Orcs there, no problem. Routing that unit, 66 kills. Another little uh, flame from the burb there, and we're going to pull our units back to create another front line, just in case these Savage Orcs decide to rally and come back. A few units do seem like they are going to try that. But another volley will see them off, and there we go, army losses. Taking effect. Well, that, that went okay, actually. Uh, if we execute them, does that mean we get more... More stuff? Okay, let's... Let's try that and see if we get another Doobie Watt set. I guess it when it says execute prisoners, I guess it means here. We do have you, so that's good. And three Warden Supply... Uh, let's... Indoctrinate you. Our plight. That gives us an upgrade, which means we can then interrogate. To better serve my vow. So this is going to give us Mr. Walker units will receive the following. Right, yes, it's a Mr. Walker only, but it gives us extra powder. So as long as our ammunition is above eighty percent, we get big bonuses to well, do everything. You will yield. So, let's get him to uh, tell us all about that kind of stuff. Hi, Elvin Archmage. And let's give you Blade Master. Can't be done. I am denied. I mean, it's a fairly nasty army, Arrest but I reckon we can. I reckon we can take him. Ready yourselves. I reckon we can take him. So, I give us our Skyhawk. That's pretty much all my money, but I think that's a good shout. We'll do that. Prince Eltharian. I mean, I'm tempted to push on. I don't think Prince we can push on, though. I think we're going to have to pull back. I think without additional reinforcements, not we're not going to be able to push into the Badlands against this many, this many orcs. We could maybe wait until they disappear, wander off somewhere else, then we can take Galbaraz and then we're in a bit of position there. But we definitely do need to take care of these guys. Hello? It is forbidden. Is it? What are you after? Past, present, future. Ah, you're after Dreadfleet. Okay, well that's that's no bad thing. We Don't can make friends fool. there. So let's. Oh, and we get the reinforcements I from the settlement as well. End. Perfect. And you're marching, so you can't get away. It says valiant defeat. That's a lot of bomber boys, but you don't actually have much in the way of infantry. So I think if we could just if we could just get in amongst you. We can probably do, you know, the big fatty boys might be difficult, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this, but that's going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.